Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Eric and in today's video, this is an, a second update for our uh, Commander Moto Charge Calling Auto Bomber. So as you can see, I've reached uh, 1.5 billion uh, DPS for this build just by simply investing uh, 52 FEs or roughly probably 50 or 55 or let's just say 60 FEs because i also upgrade some of the gears here but with that kind of investment you can pretty much uh clear uh, all the maps in uh, t7 and also t8 um i will just go ahead and show you the build for this but if you're new to the channel if you're first time watching our channel or this uh build you consider subscribing uh, to get the latest and updates and builds for torchlight infinite and also consider subscribing to get an update for the second update for or the third update for this build we're just trying to scale these things up so let's go ahead and go over to our gear first to show you what we have so far okay so let me just go ahead and show you what i got so this one uh, for imperishable or imperishable meeting so i bought this with uh 10 chance for me to deal double damage together with energy shield and i just simply enchant this for 21 percent minion max life um and i also got this from the nether realm drop cool together with this and this as well okay so for the uh, imperishable meat and touch this is basically i bought this for i think one fe i'm gonna show you to later about this so um, it has damage mitigation with the energy shield erosion rest so basically some resistances and then for mind fusion of course uh, it provides 29 percent uh, movement speed uh, and also it provides uh, empower skill triggers dark gate for level 16 so that's why i didn't i will i changed my skill setup because before i have dark gate in my skill so i changed it to a different one because where whenever we cast um elemental shock it also triggered the dark gate so that's two skills in one we also have horn ring as you can see here i'll let you i'll show you how much i bought all of these later so together with another uh, horn ring and together with the bards one because it has a lot of minion damage life critical strike rating as well as you can see together with this one too because what's important is max uh, life of minions damage uh, critical strike damage and critical strike rating okay for my resistances as you can see all cap uh, i mean all three is capped i'm still working with the cold resistance now because i changed some of the setup here probably i uh, i might uh put the uh, resistances or cold resistances in the slates and also in the soul candle just to cap all of my resistances okay all right let's just jump over to the skills so there so still the same setup for summon green phantom with the servant damage speed mechanical modification critical strike rating and damage so for my defensive skill i have uh, frost shield because uh, because of our talent uh, it increases 10 percent of our defensive skill so th this one is really good for mobility we have blink I added Cursed instead of uh, Dark Gate, so I have Electric Cute now. And then with Elemental Shock, 
and have uh, removed the summon thunder spirit if it's up to you if you would like to put summon thunder spirit it provides also some offensive but i'd rather go to energy fortress for now for um more on energy shield together with the rejuvenation and we have uh, weapon amp and fearless with stannis one and aura amplification and then for my salt candle we have uh, of course elemental rest for our resistances with minion damage and also regain interval uh, this is not yet optimized as i've said um is basically everything is still uh, under the scaling period so let's go over to the talent so of course uh god of machines is very basic We have uh, orders, mighty guard, and then for the second is machinist. And we have uh, boss, and then for burning aggression. By the way, I forgot to mention, if you're just still leveling, just complete all of these uh, talent nodes. But just simply skip this part, the cooldown recovery. You just have to get back with this once you fill in all the necessary talent nodes on the three uh, talents, okay? Just leave this one alone for the meantime. Now let's just go over to Steel Vanguard. There you go, with the reflection for our aura effect. And uh, for the knowledgeable for, yep, as I mentioned a while ago, it provides a 55% empower skill effect together with the plus 10 uh, defensive skill level. So it really provides huge buff for our defensive skills. And then for the statue of the god, so yep, there's a lot of changes here. In my previous video, I only have simple slates, but now we have upgraded some of these slates, especially with this pedigree of the gods. I purchased a focus strike uh, because it provides area skill damage up to 40% um, for the minions at the center of the enemy. And together with the this one, I just bought this just to simply provide minion damage again, uh, mana and sealed mana as well, plus life. And the rest are just simply cooldown recovery. Uh, minion crit crits uh, chance and damage and uh, lightning to lightning to attack there now let's just uh, jump over to the hero trait i also changed some of the hero trait here as you can see i bought this uh, this is supposed to be legendary affixes it's supposed to be here but this is the only one that i got uh, it, has, uh, it adds 1 to 2 physical damage for every 286 uh, max life for minions and of course minion max life. Uh, but the hero trace is still the same. I haven't changed this. But for this, I add this one. So this truck in minion movement speed and then 41 minion damage and 80% of my life to the base life of my minions. Okay. And then last but not the least for the pack spirit is still the same. Nothing has changed. Uh, more on uh, servant damage, speed, and life. Okay. You don't need to have a legendary here, guys. Uh, just simply uh, choose this simple pack spirit that has the same affix as this. And I also added some balance here because it has elemental rest, damage mitigation, and experience bonus uh, but it's up to you if you would like to go all the way servant damage um, on the pack spirit but i just need to balance this just to uh, have more survivability in the field okay all right so there you have it that's the build i hope you like this video and also consider subscribing to get some update for this build and other updates for torchlight infinites and guides Again, thank you so much guys for watching until the end and see you on our next video.